Okay, we're today we're gonna look at the new Lexus LC 500 bespoke edition with the convertible. So this does have the performance package. Part of the bespoke edition is they chose to go with the tan roof, the darker seats or the tan seats, I should say, and then they have the Inspiration series rims, the matte black ones. Now look, this is the infrared color too, so you're gonna get your triple beam headlights, fog lights. It's got this really unique grill, exclusive to the LC, so it starts kind of tight and then opens up as you get down to the bottom here. And then you get your air cooling vents for the brakes and calipers and stuff there in the front. It's got front sensors, backup camera, power folding mirrors, nice big doors. Now for the keys, actually we're gonna go around the back here first and look at these tail lights. So they almost have like a, a 3D, it just seems to go on and on through the tail lights. And then you get the performance damper and stuff underneath in the back here too with the backup sensors. Now when you do come up to the car, the door handles here, as long as you have the key on you, you push that open the door now you're gonna see it has the Lexus emblem right on the door one of the really really nice things about the LC that we don't have in any other car outside of the carbon fiber doors you get little tiny details like this where you have the screws in the side panels that say actually Lexus right on them there too so really nice it's got the soft touch leather on the doors got the full leather seats they're heated and cooled with the vents up top here power driver and passenger seat of course you push this button here drops your glove box down um, which got your quick manual and everything in there they have the handle for hanging on there to get in and out to pull yourself in depending what you're doing there uh, it's also got the soft touch dash and this is all hand stitching done by by hand And then in the back, you know, you have this vent that you can put in when you have the, the cover up. Um, and then from the handle here, flip it forward. And depending what you do, you can have it to the seats are up to have people in the back. And you got your Mark Levinson stereo system there. And then you just push this back and your seat power folds back there as well. And then we'll go through sunroof controls inside here in a minute in the back now to pop the hatch you just simply hit the button there hatch opens up we do our gifts when you purchase a car from us here Lexus South Point um, now in here one thing you do get that's not in any other Lexus is the certificate of authenticity I have sort of just blocked out the VIN there uh, but it's hand signed by yes, Moto and Martin Gilbert from Lexus Canada and it has all the details about the vehicle and what you purchased and what it has in there too. And then to close the trunk, you can fit two golf bags in here. You just may have to take the drivers out. Um, with the convertible and that too, you do have the <coughs> air compressor pump here for if you get a flat tire as well. Close that. Now the vehicle does come with two types of keys. So you're gonna get your wallet key like this. Um, now this key doesn't have buttons that lock and unlock the door, but you do have two of these keys that will do that. So to remote start it, you can use the Lexus app or you hit lock three times, lock, lock, third time you hold it down. And if you don't push it in the right speed, so lock, lock, lock. And then you hold it down, lights will flash, and... Oh. Just a, it's a great sounding car. And then when you open the door, it does turn off, and then you just would just get in and start it. Now, you get memory seats for three here, just on the side doors. It's got some storage in the bottom, 
has the really nice soft carpet, which has mats that match that, but we do have the, the tray style mats in here too that protect it a little better. You get the aluminum pedals. You can, you have your heads up display on and off, trunk release, gas tank release here. That uh, is power tilt and telescopic steering. So it's a nice heated steering wheel too. Let's get in here. You got the side vents here that would blow into the doors to defrost the windows up through the top here. Nice solid sounding doors. Hit the push button start just down below. You're gonna have your paddle shifters on either side, which actually control right from behind the wheel here. Um, automatic high beam, so you push this in, the light will come on, and you have automatic headlights, automatic high beams. You get your rain sensing wipers. When you first start the car, it's gonna come up like this. So just simply hit English. If you have the Lexus app downloaded and registered, you would enter your mobile number, connect the app to it. Otherwise, hit cancel, yes. Now you're gonna have the navigation, which is uh, cloud-based, free for three years. You're gonna have your satellite radio, AM, FM, CD, um, whatever you do like, say if you, 87.9 was the station you like, you can hit the heart and favorite it to put it in there and you can edit your favorites and everything there too, but. Um, dual climate control with automated climate obviously too and then you're gonna have your heated mirrors heated rear windshield down below here you do have your parking brake release but it is automatic so you don't need to do that one of the other things you get with the bespoke build, build is this badge here it says Lexus LC bespoke build um, you get the 360 camera button so when I hit that you're gonna have the camera front rear end of the sides there too which is really really nice and then down below you're gonna get your cup holders here um, and in here you can open this up and use this as a cup holder if you wanted to up top here you're gonna have the what opens your roof and then you do have this which will drop your rear window and it actually drops the rest of them too I guess um, so depending if you needed to do that, they'll do that automatically when we open the hatch too, or the, the roof. Up top, automatic door control, so when you hit this, when you open the doors, the lights will come on automatically. You got your garage door with this nice edgeless mirror. And then these are touch as well, so you can touch them and they open up and turn on that way. Now, with this one, you do have turning this down, comfort, an eco mode option. Um, so the first turn's comfort, second turn eco, push it in for normal or custom. So custom lets you control if you want the steering wheel to be more responsive while you're um, driving in normal or eco mode, which is normally found in the sport trim. You can actually change all that in here too. And then you can hook your Bluetooth. Oh, and I'll go back into that in a sec. Um, sport mode, and you'll see it change in here too. And then Sport Plus is what's gonna give it that power, responsive, little stiffer steering and stiffer suspension with it as well. And then in here, you're gonna have the vehicle customized that lets you change like your lighting and how the door timers work, um, sound and media. Uh, in here, general, you can change your clock, uh, hook it to Wi-Fi. You can check if there's any software updates. Currently, you can see that there isn't. And then apps is more if you need to remote connect your phone again, this is where you would do it um, and authorize it through the app there too. Otherwise you'll have your contacts, your car, so your climate control is controlled through there too, for settings anyways. Uh, comfort, so you can hit automated and it'll automatically control your seats and heating it's based on that temperature you set here. Um, and then vehicle alerts, obviously there isn't. You can change your mileage, clear the history, um, and update all of that. Obviously the car hasn't been driven other than to get a full tank of gas, so the fuel economy is not accurate yet. Cruise control, you hit this button, it turns it on, you see the light down below. Uh, and once you're at the speed you want, hit set, or once you are using cruise, 
you can tap this to go up one kilometer an hour, hold it in to go up five kilometers an hour, and then you can cancel it, hit the brake to cancel too. This will set the follow distance of the car in front of you. And then this is your lane departure alert. That'll turn on your lane trace assist and steering assist as well. Bluetooth, you have your Lexus controls, so you can hit this or say, hey Lexus. Hey. Do you want to do? And then she'll ask you what you want to do. Take me to Lexus South Point. Sorry. You do have to have the subscription activated for that, which we have not done yet. Our guests will do that when they get the vehicle. Now, to put it in park, you just would simply hit P, or for drive, over, down. Um, now, in drive, if you're under 10K an hour, you can hit this view button. And that's gonna bring up this to show you your top view of the camera. And in this, you can then change your vehicle body color. So we're gonna switch that to red for the guest now. And you'll have the front camera on and the 360 on there. If you want this to come up automatically, you would just hit the automatic. And then when you're under 10K an hour, this will turn on. Depending if you like that or not, some people prefer to not have it come up automatically. Otherwise, in reverse, uh, this will also come up. You do, when you turn the wheel, you'll have the lines that turn. And then for drive, over, down, or just manual mode there, pulling it back, which would let you control it from the paddle shifters here. We'll hit park. And then the last thing we're gonna talk about is, even though there's a ton of things to talk about with this car, is the roof here. So let's just open that up you see the windows come down the roof pops it almost looks like a transformer back there the way everything shifts and moves comes down like that and then you're set and good to go same thing you push this up and then you're it's gonna come up little transformer arms and everything move really actually impressively quick and the other thing is uh, this cover is very well insulated too so even if you do drive it in the winter that's very possible too so and one thing I didn't mention but you do get blind spot in the mirrors and stuff too so if you have any questions or your comments about this I'd love to hear them make sure you like and subscribe to the video down below and uh, this is the new LC500 Bespoke Edition. Thanks for watching. It's Mike here at Lexus South Point.